Equipment. Long beveled needles such as Quinky preferentially collect cells of interest such as epithelial, hematopoietic, and mesenchymal neoplastic cells and leaves behind most of the stromal material that often dilutes a neoplastic component. A separate needle should be used for each pass. Needle gauge typically vary from 22 to 27. In our practice, we most commonly use 23 gauge one-inch needles for palpable targets. If large or deep-seated lesions are sampled, longer needles may be needed. For ultrasound-guided FNA, one-and-a-half-inch needles are used most often. If emptying a cyst containing very viscous material, a larger needle, up to 18 gauge, may be needed on very rare occasions. And for fat pad biopsy for amyloid evaluation, we use a 21 gauge needle in order to acquire larger fat fragments. Slip tip syringes are recommended for easy removal of the needle after sampling and for expelling the material for sample preparation. 10 milliliter syringes fit most syringe holders designed for FNA sampling. Using a holder when sampling palpable lesions is highly recommended. If sampling with ultrasound guidance, a smaller handheld syringe can be used as an alternative. When using suction during sampling, about one milliliter of vacuum applied by pulling back the plunger is sufficient. Maintain the suction throughout sampling and release after sampling is complete and before pulling out the needle. Local anesthetic without epinephrine applied with a 30 gauge needle attached to a three milliliter syringe provides optimal patient comfort.